Grant doesn't even know that we moved into the gatehouse yet. When will he find out? When he walks in the front door. Can't wait to see his face. I just wish I could be doing a little more for him. In the old days, we were going to San Moritz to go skiing. No, oh, where would I be? Who knows? You know, sometimes I think, wouldn't it be fun to go back to that one exciting adventure after another? It's the way I felt when I got my trust fund money. It was all I could do to not spend the whole thing in one wonderful spree. Why don't we? Why don't we what? Blow your trust fund. We could be in the Swiss Alps in ten hours. I'll be back. <laughs> Surely you jest. Unfortunately, yes, I do. But it's a lovely thought, isn't it? Yes, it is. Holly, this is a rotten thing to say, but I hate saving and scrimping and planning every nickel. It's no way to live. Do you and Grant really have to be that careful? Definitely. Well, what about your father? Hasn't he offered to help? Yes, he offered. Grant refused. Oh, dear. So, I suppose things will just work out eventually. In the meantime, why don't you go shopping with me? And buy something outrageous? No, no. There's a white sale going on, and my trust fund money is just enough so that I can redo the gatehouse bedroom. Well, as a matter of fact, I've been looking at the ads in the papers. There's some very good bargains. Mm hmm I know. And that's a good thing, because I want to do the whole kit and caboodle. I want to get cheap pillowcases, shams, a table skirt, matching curtains, the whole works. Come with me? I'd love to. And in fact, if there are any bath sheets on towel, I might splurge and get a couple myself. Does this strike you as funny? Funny? Yeah, the two of us. We're women with our backgrounds. Sitting here talking about how to save money on sheets and towels. It's funny. And at the same time, it's not funny at all. No, oh, I know what you mean. Excuse me? Mm. Hello? Yes, this is Mrs. Scorpio. Hello. How can I help you? Oh, yes, how nice to hear from you again. Uh, what? What can I do for you? One of those women from City Hall who has lots of causes and loves to hear herself talk. <laughs> Uh, no, so yes, of course. Fascinating, yes, just fascinating. What can I do? They uh, want me to do a picture for the booklet, or the beautification booklet. Uh, yes, no, I think you do marvelous work, just marvelous. Of course, of course. Uh, apparently, Gail Baldwin and I could chat about some Oh. Uh, yes, uh, well, we're both thrilled to help. We really would like to. Yes. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yes, uh, w would you excuse me? Uh, there's somebody at the door. I really have to get... Uh, I'll be right back to you. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> well, let's get out of here before she calls back. Oh, yes. Oh, but, you know, you said that you didn't lead an exciting life, but imagine your picture on the cover of a Beautification Society magazine. Imagine that. <laughs> we can stop on the way to the sale if that's okay with you. I'll mm. be two seconds, I'll get changed. Okay. <laughs> Don't you owe the taxpayers an explanation? Hiring a, a trader like Grant Putnam and putting him on the payroll? I think I heard someone mention Grant's name. Miss Templeton, will you please leave? You absolutely have no right to be in here. Tell your boss to answer my question. I'll be out of here in a flash. Why did you hire Grant Putnam? Well, it's a long story and one you obviously do not understand. I think my readers will. Think about it. Grant Putnam is a self-admitted, filthy DVX agent. How would you like to read in the paper Lee Baldwin, mayor of Port Charles, not only hired him for a volunteer's job, but paid him as well? You know what this is like? It's as if uh, our brilliant police commissioner, Scorpio, had a wife who was a former uh, criminal. You never then give again, up, do you? Uh, that's the truth. Oh, well, well, I was just speaking about you my benefit too well I did hear why are you attacking Grant oh come on Grant attacked the whole whole country or don't you think that's important 
Our mayor has hired a vicious, underhanded spy, and you're asking me why I'm attacking? You don't know what attack is. One more word from me. I mean it. One more word out of your mouth, and I'll wrap that stupid rag you write for around your neck. Sir, don't you think I ought to go for the officers? Don't bother. I have everything I need. Oh, no, you have nothing. Read the paper tomorrow, and I'll save you the trouble of looking. It'll be on the front page. I'm terribly sorry, sir. Look, tell me something, will you? Now, what's with a girl like that? I mean it. Now, I, d I do not understand women like that. No, it's quite simple, Lee. Not to me, is it? No. She hates Robert. And because Robert is friends with Grant, she wants to hurt Grant, too. It's a personal vendetta, then. Yeah, vendetta is exactly the word for it. She's getting at Robert through Grant. I just keep asking myself why. It's quite clear, Celia. No, I mean, why they won't just leave Grant alone? Why can't they just let us get on with our lives? squad which deals with things like this. Anyway, what if it turns out to be legitimate? The worst thing that can happen is I take ten dancing lessons. Hey, I might turn out to be a Broadway star. Oh, well, that's all right. You've just gone out of your mind. Listen, if I don't finish this, we're not going to have any dinner tonight. Would you mm. mind putting on some water to boil? And mm -hmm. I'll this linguine pasta. I was having my picture taken. What for? But, well, I went to, uh, it's for the beautification booklet. Anyway, we went past Lee's office, and uh, Jackie Templeton was in there. Mm -hmm. And uh, anyway, she was really yelling at Lee. You wouldn't believe what she was saying to him. Well, so what's she got her knickers in a twist about now? Grant Putnam. She thinks that an ex-spy should not be on the city payroll. Kid doesn't give up, does she? No, she didn't give up on me either. She managed to remind everyone that our police commissioner is married to a, a, an ex-convict. Damn her. Oh, forget it. It doesn't bother me. Well, it bothers me. I'd like to wring her bloody neck. Well, save your strength. I need it anyway. Need what? Your strength. Would you mind? Trying to get the pasta out of this machine. I thought it was supposed to just fall out. Yeah, well, it is, but it got a little hard, so if you could just chip hand it a bit. Look, with the uh, hot cocoa, like a suggestion. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is your suggestion? Take this outside and we'll repave the drive with it. Mm -hmm. 